And welcome back to Minda Crossing. This is our Let's Play Animal Crossing's New Horizons episode number 29. So thank you all for joining us today. Isabel, what do you have for us? Good morning, everyone. Right now on Crossing, it is 9.54 a.m. on Friday, April 3rd, 2020. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today, but, oh, one time after I ate some cherries, I tied the stems together and made a neat little bracelet. Er, oh dear. I guess that doesn't really qualify as news, does it? That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Thank you so much, Isabel. So yesterday, not a whole lot was going on on the island. We um, did welcome Francine. She was in her boxes unpacking. And uh, yeah, we just basically didn't do a whole lot. Uh, I did go on last night. Oh my goodness. What is all of this? Where did all of this come from? Whoa, we have a ton an absolute ton of mail. Okay, Happy Home Academy. Oh, congratulations to celebrate the new addition to your home. Please accept this gift of some furniture. Okay, furniture from Happy Home Academy. Perfect. I forgot we upgraded our house. Let's just look real quick. Look at, we have a, a window on the side. Awesome. Okay, back to all this mail. We did send a bunch of presents, so apparently they got him, got them, and they uh, are sending me stuff. I don't know. Um, from Rocket, another roommate. Awesome. So what are you going to do with it? Home theater, art studio, extra huge laundry hamper, whatever you do. I can't wait to see it. Let's hang out soon. From Rocket, and she sent me something. Perfect. Thank you. Billy. Yo, push-up partner goalie. I just did 977 fingertip push-ups in honor of your present. The best part? Writing this note means today I'm toning up my word muscles and my muscle muscles. Keep working that core. Thank you, Billy. No present, but whatever. Hello, Melinda. I was touched by your generosity and just loved your gift. I hope you know my sincere, my gratitude is sincere. I really feel lucky to know someone as generous as you. Please come by and visit anytime. Thank you, Alice. Nate, hey there, Minda. Thanks for the best gift in the world. It's really funny, but I already had a gift for you. So here it is. Hope you like it. Present from Nate. Place that in our pockets. Holy moly, our mail is blown up today. Hey, Minda, thanks for the awesome Prezi, Minda. You're, like, so good at interior decorating. I picked something out for you, too. I hope you like it. Fully decorated Victoria, my buddy, Victoria. Okay, and Ken, dear Minda, a gift for moi. Well, thank you. The funny thing is, I had a primo present already picked out for you, too. Please, I want you to have it. From Ken... I'm probably not going to be able to keep all these separate. My dear Minda, many thanks for the present. You really do have excellent taste. I went and secretly picked out a present for you too. I simply must make you happy in return. I do hope it comes in handy. From Francine. Perfect. Wow. It's like it's my birthday or something, which it is not. Let's have a look. So like I said, last night I came on late just to see if... Um, we had any stars or anything which we did but still no Celeste it's absolutely crazy study poster so that's from Happy Home Academy uh, book stands what else do we have a floor seat garbage pail another garbage pail Hmm. And an outdoor generator. That is the third outdoor generator that I've gotten. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. So anyways, I did make some wishes. Um, so there should be some star fragments for us. And it looks like Mabel is here. Let's see. Do we have money? We have a little bit of money. Let's talk to her. Oh, 
Oh, hey, Minda. You came at just the right time. There's something I'd like to ask you today. Could I bend your ear for a bit? Mm. Yes. What's up? Oh, thank you. You see, I wanted to ask you about a location for this store that we're thinking of opening. Thanks to you, we've gained a lot of customers on this island who can't wait for me to come peddling. So, I've been talking with my sister about opening a proper store right here on this island. So today I came to chat with Tom Nooks and we had a great conversation. He was all like, we have some materials left over from building Nook's Cranny. All that must be done then, all that must be done then is to select an appropriate location, yes? Oh, ho, and the perfect individual to help you find that location would be Minda. Yes, yes. So I figured I'd just keep doing the traveling peddler thing until I ran into you again. And that's now. Perfect. Oh, geez. I've just been rambling on and on, haven't I? Sorry, I'm pretty excited about all this. We are too. Anyway, my sister and I would feel better opening this shop with the help of someone Tom Nook trusts. So how about it, Minda? Can you be our location scout? Uh, absolutely. Seriously? Oh, you're a total lifesaver. All right, then let me give you this Taylor's construction kit. Glad we had room in our pockets. Just set it up in whatever spot makes sense to you, and that's where we'll have our shop built. Well, okay, but how about what, what about clothes? What's on sale? You got it. Here's what I'm selling today. Hope it's good. A track jacket, corduroy skirt, sweatpants, stretch leggings. I think I will take the leggings for sure. Uh, stretch leggings. I really wish I had some cute shoes to wear with my dress so I'm not just wearing my rain boots. Okay, you wanna look at anything else? A track jacket. That's pretty cute. I'll buy that. And I think I'm gonna grab that skirt as well. I'll buy it. Perfect. So, like I was saying, um, sometimes we have lots to do and sometimes not so much. So, Today, it, <laughs> I had a plan of what we needed to get done, and now Mabel's here, and we have a tailor shop to place. So, so much for my plan. That's out the window. Let's see. I just want to go in and... Oh, well, hello there, Minda. Just like that, your home has another proper room, hmm? That's another upgrade to an even cushier lifestyle, which brings us to the cost of your remodel. That'll be 548,000 bells. Hmm? Ah yes, make your payments using the Nookstop's ADD feature, as you've done before. One other thing I should mention, now that you've made some big improvements to your home, I can start offering customization services. This is not about increasing the size of your home, it's about changing the look of your home's exterior. Of course, the thing is, we can change depend... Of course, the things we change depend on the size of your home, but the customization costs are built in. That means you can change things freely without additional loans from your roof to your mailbox. Oh, ho. Oh, and speaking of your mailbox, not only can you change its design, you can change its location too. Just pick up your mailbox with a Y and place it where you'd like. I'll make sure your mail knows where to go. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes. Well, thank you, Mr. Nook, so we can change the outside of our house. I do not believe that that is free um, at this point. Perfect. Let's hope there's some good items in our Nook shopping today. What do we got? We got a book. We'll order that for sure. Uh, floating. Oh, that's pretty. We're going to get that planter as well. What else do we got? Um, 
denim skirt, slip on, oh, slip on loafers, maybe, maybe slip on loafers, and KK Groove, why do I feel like we already have that, I don't think we do, but we're, we're gonna order it, okay, well, I think we've done our fair share of Nook shopping today, perfect, was not planning on that, The other thing I was planning on doing today was placing a bridge, but we may not have time for that this episode because there's so much to do. All everyone's running around. Um, I also, I need to talk to Billy. Last night I'm walking around in the dark and Rocket runs up to me and tells me how good of a friend Billy has been to her. Um, not as good of a friend as me, apparently, but she wanted to give him a present, but she was all embarrassed, so she gave me the present and asked me to deliver it. So, um, Billy, Billy, where are you? Let me interrupt your, uh, your running around. Uh, delivery time. What do you have there? Well, I have a present from Rocket. A present for me from Rocket? Yeah. I wonder what this is. Well, only one way to find out. A fitness tank. What is the deal with all of our characters giving fitness tanks everywhere? I had a duplicate already. Um, very cool. I can't wait to show off my new gear. Hey, why wait? Try it on. Good thinking, bud. Check it out. It's the same color as him. That's funny. Hey, hey, it looks great. Awesome. I never really noticed how good Rocket's fashion sense is till now. Thanks for jogging over to make the delivery, Goldie. It's a small reward for you, the big favor you did, but I'd like you to have my simple parka. Okay, this is like the third simple parka that I've gotten too. Sure, hope you like this type of thing. Well, I must because you guys just keep giving it to me. That's fine. Whatever. Hey, at least they're getting me stuff, right? All right. See, look at him. He was wearing that blue thing. Now he's wearing this orange fitness tank that, like, blends in with him. So he looks almost like he's not wearing clothes. He is. Don't worry, people. Do not worry, viewers. Billy is wearing clothes. Let's check out Nooks. And see what they have for us. Oh, that microwave is super cute. Um, yeah, can I have a microwave? I am interested in the microwave. How much? 3,000? I'll take it. Since we have the new room now. Mmm. And is that an espresso maker? It's a coffee pot? Or what are they calling it? Stove top espresso maker. I don't have a stove. Oh, and I don't have enough money. Not today. Maybe some other time when I'm not broke. Let's check the cabinet, see what kind of seeds there are. Windflowers, cosmos, and pansies. Not too exciting, guys. Blue heart pattern, blue stripe wallpaper. That's cute. Again, we don't have the money. Okay. Well, on to better things. Get in my way. Okay, bye, boys. Thank you. Yeah, it's... Money is a problem right now. Not really. I have some in the bank, but if we're going to put in a bridge, it's going to go really quick. Okay, so for our friends, the Abel sisters, I was thinking of just placing it right in here in between the nook, cranny, and the museum. The other thing that we could possibly do is push it back across the island. Maybe over here. There's no bridge there yet, but we could put we could potentially put
put a bridge right here and then put Able Sisters right there. What do we think about that? Let's look at the map. So directly north of my position, there's plenty of room there. But I think too, I think our original plan of putting it in between the museum and Nook's Cranny is probably still a better idea. Now, the question is, do we line it up with the front of the museum or do we push it back a little further? I'm thinking maybe we push it back a little further. We want to make sure that there's plenty of room to walk behind it. Um, so it doesn't impede our fishing, but yeah, I think that's going to be the move here, guys. Let's look. Oh. Is it a recipe? Is it a recipe? Am I going to get it? There we go. Ooh. It probably is a recipe. Let's see. If it was an egg, it would have just dropped Bunny Day Lamp. Okay, perfect. Alright, back to Able Sisters. So we could potentially put it back here. Let's just throw it down and see how big it is. Okay, so if we place it there, there is plenty of room to walk behind it. There's at least two rows, maybe three. Um, let's imagine it. Mm -hmm. Maybe bring it forward a little bit. Let's see, where are we in relation to the next screen? Cranny's right there, so and the front of the museum is there. So maybe if we s is that another glowing? Let's see what we got. Sorry, distracted. Cherry blossom umbrella. Thank you. Okay, so back to what I was saying. If we go in between, like maybe right here. Then it's kind of staggered, not really lined up with either one, either the museum or the nook's cranny. I think I want to move it over one more to the left just to make sure that there's a nice walkway in between. I think this is going to be the ticket. Let's imagine it. Yes, that cherry tree has got to move, but yep, I think that's where we want it. This is going to come down. Let's just chop it. Perfect. And we will pull up the stump, gather the fruit. I like it. Good placement. I do have a few items that need to go to, actually just one item. I caught a giant water bug. Let me just show that off to you, the ugliness that it is. You catch it in the water. It is a bug though, so you catch it with a net. I caught that last night. Okay, let's, uh, I have no more room in my inventory anyway. Let's go talk to Blathers really quick. So yeah, uh, there were shooting stars last night, and yet again, no Celeste on my island. I don't know what's going on with that. I would think she would have been here by now, but maybe not. I mean, this is only 
what, April 3rd, and we started on March 20th, so that's only two weeks. No big deal. I would like to make a donation, please. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? Well, this giant water bug. He's gonna freak out, right? Eek, a giant water bug. What a wretched thing. At last, I'm obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen? Uh, no. They creep me out just like they creep you out, Blathers. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured, the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Thank you very much, Blathers. That's gonna do it. All right. And eventually we're going to do another walkthrough of the museum just so you can see what kind of progress has been made. Okay, so we need to definitely... Okay, first I want to look at these garbage pails. Nope. They're just the ugly blue garbage pails. Do, do my friends not like me? They're just ugly blue. I mean, I guess we can place them around here. But ew. Oh, look at our residence doors. Look at Fan Francine has her funny day with Nate has his. Oh, that's Victoria. Victoria and Nate. Billy does not. What's up with that? Billy. And neither does Rocket. Or Alice. Or what is going on with you people? But look, we have a blue pansy. That is exciting. I barely have room in my inventory, but I'm going to dig it up anyway. And we're going to move that over to our hybrid area. Oh, inventory problems right now. Let's see. Uh, we should swing by our house and drop off some stuff. We can look at our new room, too. Can we get to it? We can't even get to it. Let's, um... <laughs> okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see. We're going to put our outdoor generator away and our garbage pails. What does the floor seat look like? Let's take a look. Okay. And let's see. What else do we get? Our study poster. Oil barrel. I think I got that in a balloon. That's not cool. Book stands. What does that look like? Okay. That's pretty boring. And our cute little microwave. We're going to put that in storage. We're going to put... Oh, we're going to need to change clothes. But we're going to put all the clothing into storage. And then we can just change clothes through our wardrobe. Another simple parka. I can't believe it. Okay, now that we have some inventory space, let's see if we can actually get into our new room. There we go. Alright, so it's, I mean, it's just a room. Let's see, what kind of, um, this could be our kitchen. So let's look and see if we have any kitchen-y type stuff. Mm. Okay, I'm going to put a cardboard box down. We've got our knife block, We've got our microwave, our tea set. What else? Anything? We've got our green kitchen floor mat, so that's always helpful, huh? And, yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. So that that's a start, right? 
That's the start of our kitchen. That's got to start somewhere, right? It's a good thing I finally upgraded the house because I was looking at my storage yesterday. That's not my storage. Um, that's still not my storage. There we go. I was looking at the storage yesterday and I had a total of 240 slots and I had 238 items. So I was running really low on storage space. So it's a good thing that we went ahead and upgraded. And let's see. Just gonna put more in storage. Book stands go in storage. And country fencing. I just put a little up um, by the Statue of Liberty to block the flowers that I planted. And let's see. I think I have quite a few. Um, giant clams so I can make a bunch more of those shell lights. That would be uh, the plan next. Oops, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna put that back down. I need to register my music that I got. Perfect, so that doesn't take up any storage space. Nice. So the other thing is I had a friend come and visit my island yesterday and she was gracious enough to bring me some bamboo shoots. So I did finally get some bamboo planted on our island. It is going to have to grow so we'll go and take a look at where I planted it. Which it doesn't have to stay there but I just wanted to get it in the ground and get it growing. Let's see. Uh, we should probably talk to Mabel and let her know that I placed her area. Hey, you found a spot for the shop? Thanks so much, Minda. Once we're all set up and everything, I hope you'll swing by and support my sister and me. Uh, you know I will, because I love to shop. Okay, so last thing today is I just want to show you where that bamboo is so you can see what it looks like. I also want to check and make sure it's all actually growing. Um, if you place it a little too close to each other or to the edge, it actually won't grow. See like this one right here and this one right here is not growing. Which is a little interesting because um, I kind of felt like these two are pretty close to each other. But I guess there is one spot in between them. So these we're going to have to dig up, unfortunately, because there's no point in moving them there because they aren't going to grow, but perhaps I can place it there. We'll try that spot. And this one, hmm. Not quite sure where to put this one so that it will actually grow. Um, let's see. Maybe. Nope. Nope. Maybe I'll put it right up here. I don't think it's going to grow right there either. Uh, right here. might look a little out of place but hey we can always move it so anyways that's where our bamboo is growing I do have a little bit more bamboo shoots in my storage uh, once we decide what we're gonna do with it and what I have decided to do is to go ahead and place a bridge and let me um, just go grab the bridge from Mr. Nook and I'll show you where that is going to end up and we can call it an episode once we place that bridge. Hello. Construction consultation counter. How can I help you? 
infrastructure, please. Let's chat. There are a number of things we can discuss, but what did you have in mind about bridges and layout, or bridges and inclines, please? I want to build a bridge. Oh, you'd like a new bridge? Ah, yes, bridges are a good way to connect land separated by rivers. Go ahead and pick from pick one from our catalog. Okay, so I would like to stay on the cheap side, but I it's going to go across a bridge, so we're gonna see it. So a nice arched one would be nice. I don't really want a suspension bridge. So I would say either the brick or the stone. So I want it arched. The Zen bridge would be really nice. Maybe we should just do that. Bite the bullet, 228,000. Should we do it? It's gonna be nice. <laughs> Yep, let's do it. Location, so let me put that in my pocket. Let's go. Put it up. So my thinking is... Let me just run over here and show ya. I, not this one. I was thinking it might be nice. Okay, let me look at the map again. No, I was right. Okay. We are going to jump over here. I thought it would be nice right here. There's plenty of room for it, and it's gonna look really nice from far away in front of the um, waterfall in the background. Okay, let me get closer. Let's imagine it. And hopefully this is going to look good. I think it's going to. What do you guys think? I think I like it. Got the waterfall in the background. I think that's the ticket. Okay. Let the land connect. All right. That is going to do it for this episode today. I am going to go ahead and pay off this um, in between episodes, and hopefully it will be constructed tomorrow. So thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next time on Menda Crossing. Thank you. Bye-bye.